Dear Governor Rauner, on October 17, 2012, at 11.11 a.m., I gave birth to my Modi identical twin daughters via emergency cesarean at just 24 weeks gestation. Our daughter Aurora had already lost her life due to complications from twin-to-twin -twin transfusion syndrome, but our daughter Nova was born fighting strong for them both. Nova weighed just one pound, 13 ounces when she was born, and she was on full life support for her first several weeks of life. She fought infection, suffered a massive brain bleed, and developed severe hydrocephalus. It took an amazing amount of medical intervention to keep our beautiful survivor alive, but after 100 days in NICU and two brain surgeries, we were finally able to bring her home. We were fortunate enough to begin therapy services with her in hospital, but we're still told that her prognosis was grim. Due to her brain injuries, our doctor's best predictions were that she would never walk, never talk, and never lead an independent life. We had her evaluated and began early intervention services as soon as we got her home. With the help of our amazing team, Nova has learned to do all the things we were told she never would. Her team of dedicated physical, occupational, and developmental therapists, along with speech pathologists and service coordinators, have spent countless hours teaching her to do everything from lift and turn her head, from side to side, to sit independently, to feed herself, and take her first steps with the help of adaptive equipment. We currently meet with four different therapists multiple times per week through early intervention and carry the things they have taught us into our everyday. Her therapists have advocated, loved, and supported not just her, but our entire family, and without them, there is no chance that we would be where we are today. Nova is now 28 months old and has divided every medical prediction about the quality of life she would lead. Your proposed budget cuts, taking $23 million away from early intervention budgets and raising qualification delays from 30 to 50 percent, would mean that Nova and those like her will not be able to receive the therapy services they so badly need to reach their full potential. From the therapy services she receives to the adaptive devices available through early intervention, we are able to give our children who have rough starts and differing abilities the best chance at unlocking their full potential. With your proposed changes, most children with a 30 to 49 percent delay would never be able to access the services they need, as many insurance companies, including Medicaid, won't cover all therapy services for children. As people, parents, and advocates, we beg you to please reconsider these budget cuts and save early intervention services in Illinois.